According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the word key has 26 definitions. What is a key? A key can look something like this, a small metal instrument used for locking and unlocking doors. A key can also look like this, a segment of porcelain placed on a wooden encasement attached by metal strings called the piano. But there is one other key, one you won't find in the dictionary. But if you're lucky enough, you can get to know him and learn from his story. This is Raymond Key. Ten years old, raised in Pennsylvania and a big fan of baseball. And also the latest addition to the Ryder baseball team. How would you describe Ray's personality? Describe your son to us. I would say um, he's definitely um, funny. He could be definitely funny, but he's definitely um, could be shy at times. But I think in the last probably two years, I think especially with what he's been through, it's definitely brought him out of his shell a lot. He's very smart. Um, I like to I like to play sports, act, athletic. Um, I like to laugh. I like to laugh a lot. Like anything that people say, I like to laugh at. Ray is a joyful kid who loves pizza, R&B music, and watching the Philadelphia Phillies. Even though he's a multi-sport athlete, baseball has been the love of his young life. He loves baseball. Always did since he was in T-ball. Um, very good. Um, hearted kid, always worrying and caring about, caring about everybody else. Ray was living a fun and active life. But one day two years ago, Ray's mother Patty noticed he started feeling unusual. When did you first notice something was wrong? Um, actually probably only about two weeks before he was diagnosed is when I really noticed that something was wrong. It was no you know, gradual thing was just an all of a sudden, you know, change in, you know, just his appetite and just the way that he looked and just took him to his regular pediatrician and two days later he was diagnosed. Raymond was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, a cancer of the body's white blood cells called lymphocytes, which help fight infection. With no time to lose, he began treatment at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. It, it definitely was very emotional, very confusing. Um, you know, I was thinking maybe, you know, little things, maybe he was anemic, maybe he had a bad case of the flu. So, you know, when we got the phone call to say to bring him to CHOP, um, I, I, at that point, really knew something was, was bad. How do you, as a parent, tell Ray what was going on? I remember, actually, the day, um, it was probably about three days into the hospital stay because we, you know, wanted to be certain and he, they ran all the tests and everything and we just felt that we really needed to be honest with him and um, we sat down and we told him, you know, it, leukemia is a form of cancer. We explained how his treatment was going to work, how he's going to lose his hair and how he's going to be sick and, you know, we also ensured him that, you know, we're going to get through this and we're going to, you know, do whatever we have to do. Um, so it was tough and he once again took it like a, like a champ and said okay. For the next 30 days, Ray would undergo chemotherapy and respond well to treatment. But little did he know, the following year, he would get a call from the Ryder Bronx baseball team telling him he'd be selected number one overall in their preseason draft. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of the Ryder baseball team, Ray McKee. us the information on Raymond, uh, our guys jumped on it, or I jumped on it right away. I thought it would be good for our team. Matter of fact, I thought it would be better for our team than it would be maybe for him, give us a chance to get involved with, you know, with someone who uh, certainly, you know, is in a tough situation, and I think it would make us realize, you know, how lucky we are, you know, to, to not have to go through some of those things. And, you know, all the cameras were set up, and everybody was there. It was a very overwhelming feeling. I was nervous. I was definitely nervous for Raymond. Um, but it's just very emotional to see, like Raymond said, everybody that that was out there to support us, people that we've never met. It was exciting to get on the baseball team. I've, that's never happened to me, but um, I just know it was exciting. It was scary at the same time. <laughs> to get in front of all yeah. these people, I imagine. Yeah. In April 2013, Raymond would get another opportunity of a lifetime, visiting a Phillies batting practice where he had a meet and greet with Phillies great Jimmy Rollins. On top of that, he threw out the first pitch at a Phillies game in Citizens Bank Park. But what's more exciting is how his treatment is going. 
And Ray is doing well today? Very well. Goes to school every day, plays his, you know, baseball. Nothing stops him. He's actually never had a, even a leave of absence from school besides the, you know, stay that we had when he was diagnosed. He just, right away when he came home, he wanted to go right back to school. <laughs> Perhaps the greatest part of this story is Raymond's attitude. It's amazing that, it's amazing because people actually care about people who have, like, the cancer and stuff, like, it's, it's nice to see people who care. Never had any bad thoughts about it or anything. No questions about whether he was going to make it or whether he was going to, you know, not survive. Never any of that came out of his mouth. What advice would you give to somebody in a situation similar to yours? Just keep hanging. Don't let go. Next time you pick up a dictionary, you may not see Ray's face under the word key, but you will definitely find him under the words strong, brave, and unbeatable.